Alright guys, welcome to Morai. Uh, it is a game that I know nothing about and I have no idea why I'm playing it. Ryan suggested it to me, I'm still on that weird stream binge with him right now. And we just played through the DLC for Close Your Eyes, we played through uh, uh, Cutie Patootie, and now I'm playing through Morai, a game that he really wants me to play through apparently, and chat's happy I'm gonna play it, so let's just do it. Press start to do it. Oh hey, a priest! My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. Sometimes Daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Did you hear the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. He is currently out of your sight, you're looking at me, woman. No, I wasn't... I was trying to talk to the... boy. You need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. Oh. Okay. Let's enter the cabin, because doing what I'm told is boring. I heard there's gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Okay, well, that's fair advice. Cool. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Whatever you say, Chef. They're a lot more white than I remember. Uh, there's a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Uh, two of them are dead. I'm pretty sure I've already surmised that. Okay. I'm gonna guess there's... Wait, did I ever go in here? My uncle... <clears throat> My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Should they? Or are they already dead? They're, they're probably not dead. To the farm. Okay. Farm. Uh, Alright. <gasps> Sheep! <laughs> I love sheep. They're soft and they kind of stink when you get them wet. There's a ca I, I'm gonna go into the barn first. I know there's a cave over there, but let's not worry about that. Yeah, the door is locked. Never mind. Forget the barn. No one cares about the barn. Um, before I go over to that cave, it was supposed to be this one, but. I can't interact with anything in here except for that bookshelf. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna guess that she went to go to where her son died, maybe? Hey, wood chopper. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans come from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried, can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Uh, pick up lantern? Okay, well, that hand is very reminiscent of very old games. Hey you, come over here! Did my brother send you? Bless him, the moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife, who knows, you may need it. Ha. Huh. How do you attack? Oh god, I made everything full screen. Did that mess with the recording at all? No, it seems like it's fine. Huh? Did, hello? Your card's fine, man. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they're of a child's. I can see something shiny, it's just out of my reach. Okay, well I guess I'm not needed here. Better leave.
Dang, I hit the thing again. Me hitting all these buttons is ruining me. Touch it? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Uh. Well, good tools. There's some kind of tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark car carvings on the walls. There's a book on top of the pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Everlasting Joy, Rug, Rogario, Gunny Grapes, Red. How eerie. Squeak. No, doesn't let me interact with the mouse. Okay. Well, I guess there's only one way left to go. That's straight in. <laughs> A farmer approaches. Uh, well, um... I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Why do you have a knife? I went to find a woman or her kids and some farmer attacked me. Why do you have blood on your overalls? I asked someone that exact same question and they tried to kill me. Um... She's gonna let you go. Alright, I'll let you go. Um. Well, she's alive, and that's a good thing. Uh, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia. I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband has a mi was a miner in these caverns. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nut nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered in the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? No, I'm not gonna get... No, I'm gonna get help. Then leave me, you coward. Woman sports blood at you. Well, now people think I'm a murderer. She just splurted blood somehow. Alright. Well, I'm not actually a murderer because I didn't kill the farmer, but... A farm approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Um. I don't know. Why do you look so dumb? Why do you have a knife? Wait, are you me? I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. I'm not a killer. You're the killer. Except not. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end. At least for now. It is up to the next player of the game to choose your fate. Just as you chose for the previous player. Uh, my name is... Gabriel Blue. Email address is um just gonna cut this out. Yes, that's actually my email. That is I am ashamed to have it as that. My father made it for me when I was like eleven. Don't judge me. You'll be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. Huh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually a thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, how do I post my results? It's already been posted. Where? To their server. And you'll yeah, be emailed but... when someone plays through your version of it. Alright, then yes. Whenever I get that email, I would definitely post it to the Discord chat. Hopefully, I was really hoping. I think that what they do is that they go on the sink. I played the game ahead of you, and I purposely put things saying "game." <laughs> but it didn't go through. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think it goes in the queue. So. 
Oh well. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I don't. Um, what what did I say again? Uh, the first thing he says, "I'm not a killer. You're the killer." <laughs> oh right. <laughs> Oops. Fun, fun. But that's part of the point. Don't play without knowing. Because then you just type things, and the player will eventually well, see your things. To be fair, to be perfectly fair, I let the previous guy go without asking questions. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's okay. He's, he's gone. It's okay. Um, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> on the bright side, on the complete bright side... Uh, if this video doesn't, if, like, I die or I don't die, and my results are posted in time, I can put that at the end of this video. So, go me! It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And suddenly, all at once, my legs won't let me stand. I scratch till my fingers go numb, but my skin never bleeds. A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep. There's something that lives inside me. I promise I never. Yeah.